Welcome back to Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for some more action from the Women's Pro Series Playoffs. In this segment, we're going to show you the first string of the semifinal playoff round. These are, uh, we're down to the final four bowlers and they're going to, this is the first string of a, a two string match, all the matches being two strings. And there's a great shot to start off by Judy Bowden, who is facing Celeste Buckmore in this round. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this spare by Judy. Judy Bowden comes in and converts this four drop perfect in the one three pocket. One, three, six, seven, nine, ten. So that's a spare to start off. And Celeste Buckmore will start off with a ten. The other match that you will see in this segment is going to feature Kim Pelletier and Lois Queen. And there's a strike by Judy Bowden right on top of that spare. So she is off to a really fast start. Take a look at this very high head pin hit. She gets a splash and it ends up being a strike. So she has got 30 plus the strike fail through two. Celeste Buckmore, meanwhile, is going to be open in the second box once again. Celeste is coming off a win over Marion Johnson. You remember that match was tied and they went on to a, uh, a one-string tiebreak roll-off, which Celeste won to move on to the semifinals against Judy Bowden. Judy working on the strike. Loses the ball a little bit to the right, but um, gets eight. And meanwhile, Celeste Buckmore drops a strike right on top of her. Here's a look at the strike by Celeste. Solid 1-3 pocket hit, and the four is tripped not off the wall, as usually happens, but it was tripped from behind. And that's a strike for Celeste in the third. And let's see if Judy can keep the string of marks going. Not quite, but she'll have a nine fill on the on the strike in the second frame and she'll be open in the third Let's see if she can get a 10 oh, it's going to be a nine so judy bowden has 48 after three celeste buckmore has 29 plus the fill on the strike so this this match is the uh this round is the semi-final so the winner of this match will take on either Kim Pelletier or Lois Queen in the finals. Both bowlers miss the head pin to the right. Judy has a 1, 2, 4, 7, 9, and she goes by the head pin on the right, taking out the 9. Celeste Buckmore, going after that 1, 2, 10, gets a little bit too light on the head pin, so she doesn't get the 10 pin, but the, uh, uh, the everything else goes, so she has a 9 on the strike. Judy with a 10 box and Celeste with a 9. That ball slipped off into the gutter. So Judy Bowden has 58 through 4 to 47 for Celeste Buckmore. <coughs> Judy in the 5th box drops 6 and Celeste goes even higher on the head pin and punches out a spread eagle. Judy punches the 2 pin straight back. And Celeste goes to the left. So both bowlers are going to be looking for whatever pin count they can get out of this frame. Judy with an 8. Judy Bowden has 66 through 5. Celeste Buckmore with just a 6 box. She will have 53, so she's down by 13. So now Kim Pelletier and Lois Queen will take the stage. Kim, as you'll recall, upset... Lynn Thompson in the previous round of competition in the round of eight. She had a 148 in the second string of that match to come from behind. Lois Queen drops nine with the first ball, leaving the four pin. And she just clips it. Lois Queen throws a pretty pronounced hook ball from right to left. And it almost hooked by that four pin, but not quite. She got a piece of it, and it'll be a spare to begin. 
And Kim Pelletier will begin with a nine. The lowest queen on the spare. She hits very full on the head pin and gets a splash similar to the one Judy Bowden had. She has uh, a nine drop leaving the six pin. And Lois is all over that six pin, so she's off to a flying start with two spares in a row. Kim Pelletier not able to convert that 310. She probably got a little bit too high on the wood to, uh, to, to push the three over into the 10, push it straight back instead. So she'll take a 10 in the second box. Lois Queen will fill that second spare. Oh, another nice ball on the head pin for Lois. She drops seven, 36 after two. Lois, who may recall in the team event earlier this year, converted the 7-10 split with no wood. We have that on one of our uh, video segments. Hit the seven pin off the wall and it rolled over and got the 10. Judy and Kim are both members of the once a month Sunday Pro League. And as well as the Women's Pro Series. Lois Queen is right on the head pin once again in the fourth box. She drops eight, leaving the three and seven. <clears throat> Piece of wood that might might be useful if she can get further enough. It's not, it would be nice if it were a little bit more angled so that she could push it over into the seven, but if she gets nice and low, oh, you see that was the problem. It was uh, too close to perpendicular to the lane. So she wasn't able to use it to, to uh, kick the three over into the seven. It'll be a 10 for Lois Queen. She's got 55 after four. And a nine box for Kim Peltier. She has 36 through four. Lois Queen misses the head pin for the first time. Punches out the half Worcester on the left side. Kim Pelletier goes to the other side and leaves the four horsemen one, three, six, ten. Let's see what Lois can do. She makes a nice try. Comes in pretty solid on the head pin. And there is a spare by Kim Pelletier. Meanwhile, Lois Queen takes a nine. Here's a replay of the four horsemen conversion by Kim. One three pocket, three goes into the six, six into the ten. And here's the scoreboard after five. You can see that, uh, well, it was pretty fast, but um, Judy Bowden leads Celeste Buckmore by 13, 66 to 53. And Lois Queen leads Kim Pelletier 64 to 46 plus a ball. You had to, I'm, I'm making you look at the scoreboard pretty quickly there, really pay attention. And let's see, Judy Bowden not quite able to make that spare on the left lane. Celeste Buckmore will take a nine, she has 62 through six. Judy Bowden also with a nine, 75 through six. As I mentioned, this is the first string of a two-string match. Plenty of time to, to come back. Celeste Buckmore with a five drop. She has the one, two, four, seven, and eight. And she's got it. Nice shot right there. Actually, it's just the four horsemen. There was no eight pin. And she runs it down perfectly. Judy Bowden looking at the two, five, and eight. 
And that's a tough spare to convert. You really have to uh, to come in pretty full on the object pin or catch it light and go off the wall. And Judy will end up with an eight. So that's going to give Celeste a chance to cut the lead down as uh, Judy has Judy Bowden with 83, Celeste Buckmore 72 with a ball, and she will add nine to that. So she has 81 and trails by only two. Five pin with some wood, no problem for Celeste Buckmore. That's another spare. So uh, Judy Bowden will be open, which means that Celeste Buckmore has a good chance to take the lead. Depending on... Uh, and Judy makes a 10. Converts that split. So Celeste Buckmore is down by 2, but she has this spare fill. And she only gets 4, but she does still take the lead by 2. 95 to 93 through 8. She's looking at the spread eagle. Judy Bowden looking at 1710 with some wood that doesn't look bad. She might be able to give this a run if she hits the head pin. And Celeste went right through the middle again. Judy doesn't get the 10 pin. <coughs> she scattered the 1 and 7, but I think she wanted to probably be on the head pin there, not over on the wood. Celeste with just a 5 box. A little disappointing, but she has... She's right back in the match in any case. Judy Bowden with a nine. So Judy retakes the lead by two through nine boxes of this first string of the two string match. And Celeste Buckmore firing in the 10th frame. She drops four, leaving a difficult combination. Judy Bowden with seven, leaving a triangle in the left corner, four, seven, eight with some wood. And there's a nice shot by Celeste Buckmore to convert that spare. We'll give you another look at it in just a moment. Judy will finish up. And that'll be a 10 for Judy Bowden. Here is a slow motion replay of the spare by Celeste. Great shot right there. That is a very difficult combination to make. And she just came in nice and solid in that just to the left of center on the head pin. Let's see what she can put on the spare. She will add seven. So that is a 117 for Celeste Buckmore. And that gives her a five pin lead over Judy Bowden who had 112. Now Lois Queen and Kim Pelletier are back up. Kim filling that spare that she had in the fifth. She has a six fill and that reduces Lois Queen's lead to 12. 64 to 52 through 5. See if Kim can make the four horsemen again. This time she misses the head pin to the right, just takes out the three pin. So both bowlers will be open in the sixth. Kim works it out for a nine. And Lois Queen with a ten. So Lois is back up to a 13 pin lead. Kim with a four drop and Lois with a six drop. Lois has the bucket or the diamond on the left side, two, four, five, eight. Kim with a four drop and she makes a nice try on that leave, but still has the nine and 10. Kim with a nine box in the seventh. And Lois Queen with an eight. <clears throat> so through seven, Lois Queen leads by 12. 82 to 70. Lois with a nice one, two pocket hit, dropping nine and leaving the five pin with some wood. piece of wood out front and another one behind the five pin. As long as she stays away from that cap she should be able to. And there, there it goes. I don't think she probably wanted to go that far left but uh, kept it away from the cap. So that's a spare for Lois Queen in the eighth. 
And Kim Pelletier with a 7, meanwhile. So, Lois Queen leads right now by 15, plus the spare fell. Lois adds 5, so she leads by 20 through 8. 97 to 77. Still in the first string, so Kim will have time to... Well, she goes through the the open alley in that uh, with the three nine that she just punched out. So she's gonna Kim is gonna need an out here. She's only only got two. Doesn't want to have a bad box, and that's going to be seven. Well, not too bad. Lois Queen with a nine. So Lois is up by twenty two now through nine. Kim will be would like to throw a mark on the end of the string to try and make up some of the ground, although she will have another whole string to make it up. And she's got eight, leaving the five, seven piece of wood out front that she might be able to use to cover both pins and see what she can do. And that goes. That's a nice shot right there. You can see she hits a little bit south of the, a little bit left of the red line, and the ball covers the seven while the wood takes out the five pin. So Lois Queen will be open in the tenth, and Kim Pelletier will have one more ball remaining to try and fill that spare and cut the lead. Lois Queen with a ten box for 116. Kim Pelletier, meanwhile, has 94 with a ball working. So she's down by 22 minus whatever she puts on the spare. Good ball, 1-2 pocket, and that's going to be an 8 fill. So Kim cuts Lois Queen's lead to 14. You can see there uh, Celeste Buckmore comes from behind there to take the lead by 5 pins over Judy Bowden after one string, and uh, on the other side, the other match, Lois Queen leads Kim Pelletier by 14.